Furniture in Minecraft. How do you get it? Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install the Adorn Furniture Mod for Minecraft 1.19.4. This allows you to get furniture in Minecraft and do really cool stuff, like add kitchens and, and, and all sorts of cool stuff that this mods can do. As you can see, kitchen blocks, tables, shelves, fences, chimneys, chairs, sofas, drawers, stone torches, all sorts of cool stuff can be added with this mod. Now, first things first, we want to download it so we can come here. This is the second link in the description down below. It will take you to the official Adorn download page, where once you're here, you want to come and click on the Files button here, and then you want to find Adorn for 1.19.4. So right here it is. We can double check the game version is in fact 1.19.4. Click the three dots on the right-hand side and click Download. Now the download will begin after a few seconds. You may need to keep this in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it on Firefox. It's just going to download for me, but you may need to do that. Now, Fabric Kotlin is also required, and basically this is a compatibility mod in order to use the Adorn Furniture mod. Of course, it's linked in the description down below as well, and the download process is the same. Go to Files, confirm this is for the game version 1.19.4, Click the three dots on the right hand side and click download. While this is downloading, how about notice our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. At Apex, you can easily install mod packs, update your server, and if you have any issues, they have 24 hours, seven day a week support that you can reach out to and get help. So again, go ahead and check out Apex, the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, as you can see, Fabric Kotlin has now downloaded and we're still not done. We need to download the Fabric API. You guessed it, linked in the description down below. That will take you to an in-depth guide on getting the Fabric API. Just go ahead and click on the download button here. From here, the process is the same. Click on files, find the 1.19.4 version, right here it is. Click the three dots and click download file. You might be like, is that all we need to download? And I'm like, no, there's, there's not. There's one more thing, and that's the fabric mod loader. This is actually what's all these mods need to work with Minecraft. Without this, none of them would work. So in the description, we of course have our in-depth fabric guide. We've got a video, we've got a text tutorial, but once you're here, go ahead and click on the download fabric button to be taken to Fabric's official download page. Once you're here, we wanna click on this download universal jar link right here, and it will go ahead and download in the bottom left, just like everything else you may need to keep or save it. Now, finally, with all this downloaded, we can minimize our browser. Now, let's go ahead and navigate to our downloads folder and move all of this to our desktop. So, let's go ahead and open up File Explorer. And then, what we want to do is select the downloads folder by going to this PC and clicking on downloads. Here it is we have Adorn, Fabric, Fabric API, and Fabric Installer. We can drag and drop these to our desktop right like so. So, move these right here just so we can see everything that's going on because it is quite a few files. Now, to get started, we want to install Fabric. So to do this, right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Now if you don't have Java there for whatever reason, you need to download and install Java from the description down below. You may also need to run the jar fix. Again, all that info is in the description. Nevertheless, we want to make sure 1.19.4 is selected here, create profile is checked, and then click install. It's now going to download, install, do everything Fabric needs to be up and running, and as you can see, it has been successfully installed. Click OK. If you do have issues there, it may be because you've never played Minecraft 1.19 before, or Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher is open. If any of those are the case, just go play Minecraft and close out of the launcher and Minecraft itself. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get these installed. To do this, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, you should have a fabric installation. So where do you get to that at? Well, you just go to the installations tab at the top of the launcher here. So as you can see, installations, and boom, there it is, fabric 1.19.4. If you don't see this, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, we uncheck it, it disappears, check modded, there it is, for fabric loader 1.19.4. Now before you click play on this, you actually wanna click the folder on the right hand side. This is gonna open up your .minecraft folder and it's what we need to be able to install these mods. Now you should have a mods folder in here, but if you don't, that's okay, because I don't either. Just right click, create a new folder, title of that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and open up the mods folder. Now finally, all we need to do to install our furniture mod is drag and drop the Fabric API, the Fabric Language Kotlin, as well as Adorn into this mods folder. Boom, all of our mods are installed. Now we wanna come back over here and we wanna click play on Fabric. Of course, this just means clicking play here. This is confirming you're playing mod in Minecraft, so click play again, because obviously you know you're doing that. And now we just sit back and wait. We wait for this to open up, could be a minute or so, and then once we're on the main menu, we can in fact check all these are working by starting a world. So here we are in game. We can see the Adorn Furniture mod is installed because I have uh, come in here, and by the way, if you wanna access it, you can come in here and 
like adorn and creative but nonetheless you can see kind of everything that i've been able to build by no means does this showcase everything for example i even forgot to put the uh the shelves up here i meant to put a few shelves up in the kitchen but uh yeah, I mean, so much stuff. Obviously, iron blocks there to be the fridge, the only thing that isn't or from Adorn uh, and, and the flooring as well. But look at this. I mean, this is a kitchen. It looks like a kitchen. There's no denying this is a kitchen, and it is built in Minecraft. Over here, we've got the living room. We've got the coffee table here, the end tables, lamps, and the couch all, again, from Adorn. And we do have our dining room here as well. Now, there's outdoors blocks. There's chain link fences. For example, if we wanted to grab a chain link fence uh, we can add that to minecraft which is really really cool to have different fence options here if we wanted to for example place this down boom right like so and it works like a fence if you don't fly over it um you can't jump over oh, apparently you can jump over it that's interesting you can climb it but nevertheless there you go you've got a fence that is chain link now and it looks a bit different so awesome stuff so much stuff can be added via this mod and um yeah it's crazy that's a bench by the way so you can even sit on it there you have it if you have any questions let us know in the comments be sure to give us a thumbs up enjoy the adorn furniture mod we'll see you in the next one peace